force force is the most commonly used word in everyday life what is force what these boys are doing they are pushing a bus when they push the bus what happens they apply force during pushing and bus moves now what he is doing yes is trying to open a door he tries to pull so that it opens he apply force to pull the door now in these two examples what you are observing you notice a word force which is associated with either pull or push which causes some kind of motion suppose you want to move a body what you will do you have to push it suppose you want to stop a body which is moving then you pull it if you want to change the direction of motion then what you have to do you have to apply some force see here a boy is pulling a chair is he applying the force yes he is applying the force now force is associated with either pull or push which causes some kind of motion simply a pull or push can be considered as force now what are the effects of force that means what force can do a force can cause motion in a stationary object when a force is applied on a stationary object it starts moving for example if you push an object on the table then what happens it starts moving when you pull a chair it starts moving however it is not necessary that a force can always make a stationary body to move for example you see this he is trying to push a stationary wall it will not move is it mean he is not applying any force yes he is applying the force he will tie after some time but the wall will not move the reason is that the force applied by the boy is not sufficient to move the wall however is action of push that is the force has tried to move the wall that means when you apply a force it causes motion it is not necessary always it should cause the motion but it tries to move a force can stop moving objects or slow them down suppose you consider you are riding a bicycle if your friend pulls it from behind then what happens automatically it is going to slow down and may stop that means if you apply force in the direction opposite to the direction of a moving body the body slows down similarly if we apply brakes to a moving bicycle it first slows down and then stops we ourselves have to apply force to stop our bodies while running a cricketer stops a ball by applying force in the direction opposite to that of the ball from these examples it is clear that a force may stop a moving body or may reduce the speed of moving body the other effect of the force is a force can make a moving object to move faster suppose we consider a cart puller pulling a cart up as you are seeing in the figure if another pushes that cart then what happens yes 
the speed of the cart will increase and it starts moving faster. Similarly, when a football player hits moving football, then the ball starts moving faster. When a horse pulling a tonga applies greater force, the tonga moves faster. That means a force can make a moving object to move faster. The other effect of the force is force can change the direction of moving objects. Suppose we consider a cricket player hits a ball with bat. Initially ball is moving in this direction. When he hits the ball, what happens? The ball changes the direction. Similarly, a football player changes the direction of the moving ball by applying a force. A force can change the direction of moving objects. And the other effect of force is, force can change the shape of the objects. This is a ball. If you push this ball, what happens? The shape of the ball will change. Now this is a spring. If you apply some force on this spring, then what happens? The spring will be stretched. That means the shape of the spring will change. That means when we crumple a plain paper, its shape changes. Now from these examples, we can say force can change the shape of the objects. Now we try to define what is force. Force is an external agent which changes or tends to change the state of rest or uniform motion of a body or changes its direction or shape. That means a force can cause motion in a stationary object, a force can stop moving objects or slow them down, a force can make a moving object move faster, force can change the direction of moving objects. Force can change the shape of the objects. These are the various effects of the force, which are basically push or pull generated by the force. These forces of pull or push directly act on a body or act through a connector, which may be rigid or non rigid. The force of push can act through a rigid connector only. However, the force of pull can act through a rigid or a non-rigid connector. Suppose we take an example. We can pull a cart by attaching a rope. This is a non-rigid connector or a rigid handle. And these kind of forces which act on a body directly through a connector are called contact forces. Contact forces means which can be applied on a body with some contact. Now the question is, can you find non-contact forces? Have you seen any force which acts on a body from a distance? Can you give some examples? Suppose we consider an object at some height. When we drop it, then what happens? Yes, it is pulled towards the earth. Why? That is because of the gravitational force of the earth. Similarly, if I place a small magnet nearer to a larger magnet, then what happens? It will attract it by larger magnet. Yet there is no contact. This is magnetic force. In these two examples, what you are observing? Force can act at a distance. The forces which do not make direct contact with a body but act through space are called forces at a distance. Gravitational force, magnetic force, electric force, these are non-contact forces. 
now we discuss about the different kinds of forces in nature depending upon the nature of forces we can classify the different kind of forces like this biological forces are muscular forces we know that all living beings need energy for living this energy is converted into a force for doing various activities the force is essentially produced by the muscles of a living beings this force produced by the muscles of a living beings is called muscular force or biological force suppose you want to lift a body which kind of force you apply you apply your muscular force if you want to run which kind of force you apply muscular force when we lift push pull stretch or compress we use our muscular force lifting a heavy weight pulling a wheel cart pushing a lawn roller stretching a chest expander in all these cases we are applying muscular forces however if the force required is too large and our body is incapable of producing it we use muscular forces of animals for example horses are used for moving carriages donkeys and camels are used for carrying heavy loads and elephants are used for moving logs in jungles sometimes we use non living objects for performing certain jobs for example we use axe for cutting wood a knife for cutting fruits vegetables meat etc and we use hammer for driving a nail into the wall in performing the above activities we use our muscular force now mechanical forces the forces generated by a machine are called mechanical forces no machine produces any force on its own in order to produce force we must supply it some kind of energy for example for a car what we are supplying energy of petrol the force used to run a motor car engine is produced by using the energy of petrol the force used to run steam engine is it is produced by using the energy of coal the wind turbines use the energy of wind to produce force which is used for grinding wheat sailboats they also use the energy of wind to produce force which moves the boat and the energy of flowing water is used to produce the necessary force which runs a generator to produce electric current another kind of force is gravitational force when you drop an object from height then what happens it always falls towards the ground what is the reason because of earth's gravitational force it is pulled towards the earth the pull exerted by the earth on the object is called force of gravity or gravitational force even when we throw an object vertically upward the force of gravity of the earth at once starts acting on it firstly it slows down the object then it stops the object again finally it will be pulled towards the earth it is the force of gravity which gives a weight to an object weight is basically the force of gravity acting on a body the force or pull by which an object is attracted towards the earth is called its weight now the question is is earth only having the gravitational force yes not only the earth 
in universe every mass can exhibit gravitational field or force sun it is having the gravitational force because of the gravitational force of sun earth is moving around the sun because of the gravitational force of earth moon is moving around the earth in universe between any two masses you can find this attractive force that is a gravitational force this gravitational force is an attractive force you can find between any two masses in the universe is why it is a force or not suppose we consider a stone is in your hand then how you feel some force is pulling your hand downward in order to stop your hand from moving downward the muscles of the hand apply an equal force in the upward direction this force just balances the force of gravity due to the earth and does not cause any motion now you take this small activity to show that the weight of a body is a force as are seeing in the figure suppose we want to increase the length of this rubber string then what we have to do as by applying some force you can increase the length now you see here and i am tying some weight to this rubber strip then what happens the length of this string is also increases that means you applied some force here because of this force you are getting some effect the same effect you can get using this weight then what we can say a weight is also a kind of force now another kind of force in nature is electrical force and this is another kind of force which can pull or push objects you take some piece of small papers place these papers on the table take a plastic ruler from your geometry box rub its one end with your hair bring the rubbed end nearer the papers then what happens yes they will attract towards this the reason is the plastic gets electrically charged when rubbed with hair or wool the electricity so produced pulls the bits of paper towards itself from this what we can understand yes electricity is also a kind of force another kind of force is magnetic force you know what is a magnet yes you can find different shape magnets if i ask a question what is magnet then what is your answer yes magnet is a material which can attract some materials it attracts iron it attracts another magnet it attracts steel it attracts cobalt and this kind of force is called magnetic force that means the force by which a magnet attracts or repels objects of iron steel nickel cobalt called magnetic force magnetism is a property which can attract or repel some materials in the nature the materials which can affect by the magnet are called magnetic materials the force by which a magnet attracts or repels objects of iron steel and cobalt is called magnetic force suppose you consider an object of iron or steel it will attracted by the magnet you take some nails made up of iron in a bowl and take a bar magnet when you place this magnet into this bowl then what happens yes the nails will attach to this magnet that means a magnet exerts a magnetic force which pulls the nails towards itself now i am taking another activity 
This is a metal car. I am going to show a magic to you. Without touching with the hands, I can move this car. How it can be moved? Yeah, because of this magnet. Now one important thing you have to observe here. This wood is a non-magnetic substance. The car material is a magnetic substance. It is made up of some metal and this is magnet. You cannot attach this magnet to the wood. You can attach the magnet to the car. But we can place the wood in between car and magnet. Then what you can understand from this? A magnet exerts magnetic force on the objects made from iron and the magnetic force can easily pass through substances like wood or glass. That means the magnetic force can easily pass through substances such as wood, glass, clay, etc.